Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and today I found this little item at my parents' house. And it is a Super Data Blaster. It's the Major League Baseball Edition. And as you can see on the box, it says it's a baseball organizer and communicator. And then the little bullet points say complete player statistics, infrared messaging, if you have two of those same devices, updatable statistics, home run challenge game, personal statistics, fantasy teams, trading card file, and more. And as you can see the little seal it says genuine merchandise. This is what the device looks like. It has a little flip up uh, protective cover. It has more. Uh, this is like what with the all. This is what the icons are on the screen. And I believe this came out in 1995. I'm just gonna go around and show the box. This is a handheld made by Tiger electronics. If you saw my other video, you would know I had those other ones that I found too. This is still sealed in the box. And as you can see the original price tag was $49.86 at Walmart. And I believe my parents got this on clearance for 15 This is the back of the box. On the left side you see the uh, baseball teams. As you can see the year 95, Tiger Electronics. Another shot of the handheld. And then, let's see, up here is like a little overview of what it is. Let's see if I can get a good angle. Basically, you can send and receive infrared uh, messages with other devices through the little port in the front. And right here it shows that you can update your player statistics by uh, purchasing, I guess, these little cartridges that you plug in. Um, this picture shows it came in a red model and a blue model. This one is the blue model. And again, here's the icons of the main menu to show what each function does. Okay, so here's the front again. As you can see, I also got a new tripod. Well, it's not new. I found one at my parents' house when I went to visit for Father's Day. So I don't have to hold the camera anymore, which is nice. Open it up, and this is a handheld. The box itself isn't sealed, but the handheld is. It's like in a little plastic thing that you rip off the back of a cardboard piece. So that's how I know it's still sealed. Show a close up of that. As you can see it has like a QWERTY keyboard and then arrow keys. I guess calculator functions. Buttons to edit, delete, search the menu. I guess there's a dedicated button to send or quit a program. There's an on off switch, and this is the little screen. I guess this picture is showing the baseball game on it. 
and here's the lid. It again shows the many button icons. Around the border you have the baseball teams. And on the big flap is more details on like what's in it. Pretty much the same as the back. Extra large LCD screen. And that's how big it is. So I guess it's kind of, maybe it was big for the time. Let's see, this is what the main menu looks like. So you have this row of icons and this row of icons. So you go like up, down, left, right to go to the next icon. And then the little lines show like what each function goes to. So this is a statistics on, I guess, the baseball players at the time. Uh, stats. Do I just see? I don't know what that is. If it's like real baseball stats or like fiction stuff. You can customize your stats. This is like a calendar schedule thing. You could put your phone numbers, addresses, birth dates. Uh, yeah. I guess this is if you have baseball cards, you could put how much they're worth. I don't know how useful that is without pictures the little disc icon um, that's the cartridge thing that you could get to have updated stats this is a little message icon to send and receive messages We're up to 50 letters long so that's, I think that's even less than Twitter or even an SMS uh, this is a little home run game you can create your fantasy team and then a 10 function calculator so yeah this is a handheld that I got I, I don't know how much this is worth value wise now um, there's one listing on eBay that's active, but it's one of those um, buy it now prices that it doesn't end. So it's at 80 for uh, an open copy. Oops. 80 for an open copy, and mine's sealed, so I don't even know if it's worth 80 because obviously it's still there, so it hasn't sold yet. And I haven't really found any other information online. So this is just so uh, people know like what this item is and what it's all about. Because I think it's pretty obscure and I don't know if anyone collects this. I remember, I remember my sister had a like it was like a secret diary type of organizer like this it was almost the exact same thing but it wasn't baseball themed it was more like a teen girl uh, pre-adolescent type of device it had most of the same functions like the infrared port to send messages back and forth to other people with the same device except it was more like you could write diary entries um, you could do what was it, um, a really stupid uh, get your fortune read by like inputting two birth dates, that kind of thing. So if anyone is interested in this, I might be considered trading this, but I'm still trying to find more information online. So. Hope you liked this video and again my pickups videos on hold for now. I'm currently waiting for 
Uh, some gift cards to register on my Amazon account because obviously using gift cards is easier than you know spending your money outright I think anyway and I just started a new job so I'm really tired not the best job but it pays the bills so why should I complain <laughs> So, let's see, I'm going to try to do another series of videos, because um, I just bought a bunch of my old gaming magazines, like EGM, which is Electronic Gaming Monthly, and my old GamePro episodes, episodes, magazines, GamePro magazines, from 2004 to 2005, 2006, something like that. So I was thinking of doing a series on maybe going through a magazine and just showing like what the articles were at the time. Because now that I have a tripod, it's obviously easy to, you know, go like this and flip through the pages and show it without having to hold the camera so I might do that I don't know yet if I have the energy to do that so thanks for watching and um, I'll see you next time